When we become relaxed, the parasympathetic nervous system, which is designed to promote repair, maintenance and restoration, this is the part of the nervous system that takes over. So we want to learn how to shift into that part of the nervous system when we're trying to relax or manage stress. So how can we hack our circadian code to increase our productivity? And how can we integrate new habits that promote more relaxation? This is a, these are questions and the scenario that can be overwhelming for most people, especially when like we are maybe trying to balance a demanded job, family life, making time to do the mundane stuff in life, like clean up, make food, eat, stuff like that. And also becomes more difficult for people who have children, right? So obviously <clears throat> I don't have children, so I can dedicate more time to relaxing and managing stress. But for those who may have children, it becomes even shorter uh, time slots that you can do that in. Um, and then like by the end of the, by the time you know it, it's time to go to bed and you're stressed as fuck. So we need to figure out how we can manage our time better to promote more relaxation and promote your body to shift into parasympathetic state. Um, the first thing we need to do is shift our mindset. And this shift requires us to give up the notion that staying up late will get, will let us get more done. This is the opposite is true. All right. It's already proven in science now, uh, which is actually catching up with this, that we're actually less productive in the evenings and we're less productive when we're tired. So it's better for you to prioritize sleep and relaxation and winding down so you can be more optimal the next day. Move that work or those tasks to a time when you're going to be a bit more productive, usually in the first half of the day. Also go with the notion that you can catch up on sleep. This is not true. If you miss an out of sleep during the week and this builds up over weeks, months and years, it's impossible for you to catch up on sleep. And the fact, if you need to sleep longer on certain days, um, what happens is you actually become more lethargic. So it doesn't really work. The number one thing you can do is to create an environment that allows you to relax and wind down and then stack behaviors that align with this goal, right? So the number one tip I can give you for creating a more relaxing environment is to spend 60 minutes in a low, in low stimulus. So that involves low lighting, uh, removing overhead lighting, using them as little as possible, and also minimizing screen time. Number one tip I can give you for behavior is to use the 60 minutes to do anything that doesn't involve a screen. Obviously we can talk about meditation, journaling, and reading, and some other stuff that may help you wind down, but if you are stressed and you don't know how to meditate or you're learning how to do some of these things, um, getting good at them takes practice and time. So for the moment, just do anything that doesn't involve a screen. Screens are very stimulating, um, especially blue light. And if you're trying to sleep, these are sending signals to your brain that you're actually required to be still awake. Uh, me personally, I use that 60 minutes just to sort myself out, um, organize myself for the next day and read. So what I do in the 60 minutes is I read mostly stuff that is not so heavy in terms of information. So more stuff that is maybe around ideas and life and philosophy um, and keep the heavier stuff for the morning. Remember, relaxation is the opposing force to stress. It actually requires practice to learn how to relax. So do small things that help you get better at managing stress.